on the map. I love it. <laughs> Very cool. Better off swimming than running today if you want to get your cardio in. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with swimming on a wet day, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be doing that tomorrow morning. Well, you know what? If you're headed out tomorrow morning, there's a little bit of light rain in the forecast, but most of the rain on Friday will be in the afternoon and evening. Now, you can see the wet streets in downtown Graham still decorated for the holidays as we are entering in the new year. We had some sunshine, right? That was nice. And then the gray skies out there today and yes, the rain. Now, overnight, it will become a little lighter and a little spottier across the area. A little bit of fog, so not real steady rain for your morning commute. For Friday, though, that widespread rain, it moves in late day and continues into Friday night. And we may even have a lingering shower around on Saturday, especially in the morning, and a brief transition to some mountain snow Saturday night into Sunday. You see the heaviest rain? It's showing up in yellow here down over Davidson and Randolph counties. It's moving to the northeast. So if you're in High Point, New Market Community, Pleasant Garden, Greensboro, even Burlington. If this holds together, it'll be moving into your area. You've got moderate rain over Greensboro as well as Winston-Salem, a little heavy out toward the lake. And then you can see the steady moderate rains from Highway 220 all the way up to Martinsville, over to Danville, and then as we shift back along 52, most of the rain south and west of Mount Airy, but headed in your direction. Heavier rains lifting north now of 421, and we will have a little lull overnight. The temperatures are cool, so it's kind of a chilly rain. You've got 45 in Yanceyville, 44 in High Point, 45 in Moxville, 45 in Jefferson, low 40s in Sparta, Elkin, as well as Yakinville. Here's where the warmer air is. It's down here to the south, and that's where you're going to find the warm front that's going to be lifting north into our area, creating some patchy fog, creating opportunity for light rain, and then the heavier rain comes in with this area of low pressure tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Haven't seen a lot of severe weather. They are dealing with flash flooding and flash flood warnings across the deep south. Isolated thunder, a possibility heading into tomorrow, especially the farther east you go tomorrow afternoon. So you can see this big wave, big blob of rain that is overhead right now. Again, that'll lift northeast. It'll be a little quieter when you wake up. A lot of clouds, some very light rain as a possibility. Even through lunchtime, I don't anticipate we're going to see much in the way of significant rain, but look what happens around lunchtime and into the early afternoon, especially across the triad and points east as we'll look for some of the heavier downpours, potential again for isolated thunderstorms. That'll shift off to the east, but for your evening plans around 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow, it's pretty mild, but it's also wet. So make sure you've got some rain gear if you're headed out for dinner Friday night, maybe to see a movie, something like that. There's not much accumulating rain between now and tomorrow morning, but where we do see some of those heavier bands and setting up, there's the potential for a half of an inch to maybe an inch of rain late tomorrow, tomorrow night. So look at the numbers tomorrow. With the help of that southwest wind, we may get up close to 60 degrees by late afternoon. Again, most of the rain comes in the afternoon and evening. Foothills up to 55 for tomorrow afternoon. Mountains mild as well, mid to upper 50s with some scattered rain around. Your Friday evening plans, as I mentioned, include a rain jacket, umbrella. You've got some scattered showers that will be likely. Temperatures not too bad. The cold air, it's up here, and that is on the way next. You see the teens in the 20s and the 30s? Well, we'll push the rain chance through on Saturday with that second front. We'll get a little bit of snow right along the mountain ridges, and then we'll going to bring those temperatures down and you're going to see highs on Sunday into Monday that are closer to normal for early January. So there's your seven day forecast. Mild temperatures for now. Freezing nights. They return by Sunday morning. We'll be right back.